GZ friends, today is frying day. They are filled with sauce and mozzarella, beautifully sleek and golden. Ladies and gents, may I introduce Giallo Zafferano's Panzerotti. Manuel's in the kitchen. Are you ready? Let's go. We're gonna start with the dough and into our bowl go the two flours, zero, zero, and Manitoba. We crumble in the fresh brewer's yeast. Then add the sugar and pour in the first half of the water. Using a pastry scraper, we begin mixing. Gradually adding more water. Once the yeast has been absorbed, we add the salt. And then the rest of the water, mixing in well. Now we add the oil. When the bowl is clean, we transfer the dough onto our worktop. Now we mustn't confuse panzerotti with calzoni. You know, I'm often asked, well, what's the difference then? Well, calzone is made with classic pizza dough and baked in an oven, while panzerotti, on the other hand, are fried in hot oil. Right, now that our dough is nice and smooth, I form it into a sausage shape and then cut it into pieces of around 80 grams each. To knead these, slightly flatten the dough on the worktop, then start bringing each of the edges of the piece into the center. Do this a few times, and then twirl with the palm of your hand like this. It's easier to do than it is to describe. Place each of these balls on a tray, like so. Place them a little apart from each other, so that when they grow bigger, they don't collide with each other. Now cover them with a towel. Now we wait for them to double in size. In the meantime, we start preparing the filling by cutting our mozzarella into chunks. First we slice it. Then some long strips. And finally, chunks. My advice is that you leave the mozzarella to drain for a while to allow the whey to drain away. Now we're going to cook the sauce. Put some oil in a saucepan. Pour in the tomato puree, season with salt and cook for about 15 minutes. Okay, okay. so my sauce is now cooked. So I'm going to transfer it to a bowl and then add some dried oregano. Give it a good stir and leave it to cool. Our dough has now risen. I'm going to place one on the worktop with a sprinkle of flour and a rolling pin. What we're trying to get here is a circular shape with a thickness of around two millimeters. Make sure you get an even thickness over the whole surface. That way you can be sure that the panzerotti will cook evenly all round and it will be soft and fragrant to bite into. If the dough shrinks when it's being rolled out, wait a few moments and give it chance to rest. We've got quite a lot to roll out, so there's plenty of time. Just come back to it later, no worries. Now for a spoonful of sauce, spread it out a little, a few chunks of mozzarella, and then we fold it over to close. Seal it around the end, and then using a pastry cutter, tidy up the edges. Heat the oil to 170 degrees, otherwise the panzerotto becomes soggy, or as my friend Carmen from Bari says, place it in the oil. Let's do two at a time. I think they'll fit. There, as soon as they start to float, we turn them over, and you see they're developing a beautiful curve. To make sure they cook evenly, keep turning them or baste them with the hot oil like this. I'm going to leave these on paper towels to drain and fry another couple. So here are our finished panzerotti, one of my absolute favorite street foods and best eaten while they're still hot. I'll give them a try for you. Gorgeous! See you in my next video recipe.
Get making them, you have to. Gorgeous.